Go on then. Okay, uh, something we've got to kind of share with you, our first unboxing. Whoa, I can't wait to get in there. Oh, let's uh, wait for that nonsense to stop. Just grab the blade. Go. Cool. Okay, something that we have got to share with you, our first unboxing. Now, we really have to thank uh, Glenn from GS Tongs. Uh, he's on YouTube. Some of, I just really like his style of blacksmithing. I've learned a lot from kind of watching his videos and very kindly he has made us these. So I think rather than kind of mess about, let's get in there and see what we're on about, eh? Just undo this. Oh, I've been waiting for these for quite some time. As you well know, I've been uh, mentioning this to you for, for a while. We got a little bit worried because it seemed to vanish in the mail system, didn't it? But it's come all the way from Taiwan. And um, what is it I hear you ask? Well, let us have a little look. That's everything out of there. That can go. Um, oh, I love, I love the old, the kind of that old feeling of tools wrapped in black paper. Oh, I've given it away. <laughs> what have we got here? Then? Let's have a little look. Unwrap, unwrap, unwrap. Okay, I think we can. Very well wrapped. Thank you very much, Glenn. Not that I think they need much protecting, but anyway, considering what they are, but here we go. Let's have a little look. Now, I made this just a few moments ago. Um, let's see what we've got here. Okay, our first one there. First one there. Um, second one. There we go. So I'm just gonna let Mark Try and get those in the. Just gonna let Mark get in there and have a little look. Macro. So, for the uninitiated, what are they? These are uh, touch marks. Ooh, touch mark. Oh, touch <laughs> mark. Joke there. Uh, no, these are H13 steel and they are essentially hand engraved touch marks for us to hot stamp steel. So if you like, this is our way of kind of applying our maker's mark to um, the kind of things that we're making here at Dirty Shed Creation. So, I mean, wow, you know, Glenn offers this service. Now he doesn't offer it all the time and you know what, again I'd say you know you can't just expect him to do this for you but you know get in touch with him, see if he's still offering the service. As far as I'm aware and I watch his channel he hasn't mentioned that he's stopped but I knew, do know that the engraver who makes these is kind of, um, we're going to say advanced in years but I tell you what the quality of these stamps is absolutely immense. You've obviously seen our skull and I think this is my favourite. Just look at the way he's recreated our kind of dirty shed skull. I think Mark will probably show you a comparison. I mean, it's absolutely genius, even to the curve, upwards curve on the teeth there. So, without further ado, we'd like to first off, well, without further ado, let's get them stamped into some metal. Uh, we've got something heating in the um, forge at the moment. I think we're just gonna get straight into it. Uh, make sure everything's where we need it to be. We'll grab these. Where are you doing it? I'm going to do it right here. So we're going to be bringing the metal in. Oh, I need a, I need a thing. So our plaque is up to heat. Make sure we've got everything we need. So which one are we going to go for first? I think we're going to go with the skull. So our metal's in the fork. It's up to temperature. Let's bring that out. Let's pop it on there. Let's get our skull on and let us stamp. Okay, and then let us dirty shed creations and let us take that. See, these don't really grip very well. Angle it just a touch that there way. There you go, yeah, got it. I'm gonna quench it so when you're ready. Yep. Yeah. 
brighten her up. level aren't they? So um, there we go we've got those stamped out thank you so much for those Glenn we're very very pleased with them um, and our compliments if that's the kind of thing you say to your engraver he is absolutely superb um, oh god i'm so pleased these are finally out of the box because we'll be using these quite a bit in forthcoming projects uh, right perfect so there we go we see the results i think we've missed stamped that one really that one's just a touch low isn't it but it'll work for our purposes and that was just to really show kind of what uh, what they do these are made in h13 tool steel so essentially this is a tool steel that you, you know it's very good for use on red hot metal um, and then afterwards you don't do anything to them you let them air dry and they harden back to where they were before they were heated up by touching or the um, steel that they were stamping so we're really pleased with those once again, thanks very much to Glenn at uh, GS Tongs. Get over there and have a look at um, his channel. Great stuff on there. Some really kind of like off the wall projects, little blacksmithing projects using little bits of leftover this and leftover that. And he always manages to make something really exciting. Um, he started kind of forays into copper work, which are quite interesting as well. And considering that we've melted brass in our forge, it's probably something we'll be returning to as well. Compared with steel, this is like cutting through butter. For copper, it's very hard to judge temperature by color as opposed to steel. Here's the finished copper mallet. So, once again, thanks very much, Glenn, from all of us here at Dirty Shed Creations. Um, yeah. Would, it be, would this work if we do that? How about that? Sorry, mate. Any good? Yep, cool. Touch marks. No. Touch marks. Touch marks. No. Touch marks. <laughs> oh, okay, should we dear. call that done? That's done.